Hello there, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. It has been a few weeks since I've been on here. It's been a super busy um, month or two. Um, the summer is just flying by, but thank you so much for being here with me. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of, and this is actually a first impression, of the Sephora Reveal the Real Soft Radiant Skin Tint. I just picked this up. Uh, yesterday, I wanted to give it a try and I thought I would just pop on here and film it. It has been so long since I've been on here. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, my name is Laura. If you've been watching me for a little while, you know how much I love foundations. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this today. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of future uploads. And with that, let's go ahead and do our makeup. Okay, so as I said, I picked up the Sephora Reveal the Real Skin Tint yesterday at Sephora. I did not intend to get this. I have so many skin tints, don't really need another one, but this one just intrigued me. I've been hearing some good things about it. I got the shade 120 Y Fair, um, and it says it's for, interesting, it says it's for light skin tones with a yellow undertone, which I tend to prefer on my skin. I like a yellow undertone on my skin. Um, this is the third from the lightest shade. I swatched it in store with the 130N, which is the next shade up that they had, um, and that is light for neutral, light skin tones, neutral undertone. It was pretty orangey, uh, so I just wasn't sure if I would like it. They looked, I swatched them on my face. They looked pretty much the same, um, so I just went with the yellow undertone, which I, I knew I tend to like. So we're going to give this a try. It is a squeeze bottle. Again, I don't love these squeeze bottles. You don't know how much you're squeezing out here. Is it serum-like, um, has a blurred finish, um, has some correcting properties, so it's supposed to help correct imperfections. Um, it says that it has, it's long wear, 12 hour hydration. We're gonna see. Let's go ahead and jump into this. I'm going to be using a brush um, on half my face. I don't have that many that are, well, I need to wash my brushes. So I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Um, dual-ended brush on one side and my uh, fingers on the other. Okay, I'm gonna pull my hair back. Um, it has been a crazy month. I just have not had the energy to do much of anything else after uh, work, being on vacation, children, all that stuff. So I am happy to be back here and filming again and I have a lot of new makeup to review. So more to come. But okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this. I'm going to show you. Oh, it's got a pretty... Hmm pretty good sticker on the back here. Wow. Okay. There we go. Okay. So the back of it says what was covered up light breathable coverage offering a soft radiant finish blurs and smooth skin texture. So, um, it is a twist off top squeeze tube. Um, let's just do a couple drops here. It's pretty thin ish super thin though. All right. And I'm going to go ahead on one side. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this isn't too light. I'm, it didn't appear to be in the store, but we're going to see, Ooh, I don't know. We'll see. It's really yellow though. So I, I don't know. I tend to like a yellowish undertone. My skin's going crazy right now. I am breaking out like Crazy, and I don't know why, because I've, I've been to the dermatologist, got some new prescriptions, a new prescription to use with tretinoin. I don't know. I don't know if it's helping it or not. I feel like I'm breaking out more, but maybe that's just purging. I don't know. All right, so it's disappeared that fast. <laughs> I don't know if I'm seeing anything. You saw how much I just put on? That's it. It's gone. So this is, this feels kind of like um, a thin gel. Uh, it's like putting, it almost feels watery when you put it on. Um, it's, let's just see if we can build up a little bit. It's, it's not too light, it's actually perfect, but it's a skin tint, so it's probably, I have a little bit of wiggle room here. 
But look at it. Oh, I don't know. Well, maybe a little bit of coverage here. It's still pretty sheer to light. That's minimal coverage. If you have a lot to cover, I mean, it's a skin tint. It's not claiming to give you medium coverage or any light breathable coverage. Yep. Um, okay, we'll see. I'll put on some concealer too, but that's, that's with two layers there. I used about the same amount I did before the first time. That's what the, okay, this is blurring things out a little bit. It covered a little bit up here. My, um, just the, not really broken out anymore. It's just kind of healing up, but in, I'm, I'm getting, looking in the camera versus my mirror, I'm getting more coverage. Looks like it's, there's more coverage on camera than in the mirror. I mean, it's a skin tint. I don't know. I get more from the, let's see. I get more from Fenty, from my Fenty Beauty. I get more coverage from this, the ease drops. Uh, we'll see. All right, well, let, let me let that sit. Let's, let's use, let me do my fingers on the other side, but I, I'm using an awful lot of product. This was $22, by the way, um, which is about what I expected from a Sephora foundation. Feels like a lot more. My fingers, I don't know if it's not absorbing as much or what it is, but it's spreading more. That was about the same, I think. Mm. They look about the same with fingers or brush. I'm gonna put one more layer like I did on the other side. This is a very thin formula, super, super thin, almost watery. It has like a, it has a makeup-like scent. This smells like makeup. I don't, I don't think it's, doesn't seem like it's got a, a, an added fragrance, but I did not look that hard at the ingredients for that. Well, it does have flower extracts, which I think is probably going to give it a little bit of a scent, I would imagine. Um, I like this color. I like the under, I like a yellow undertone. I just, I don't know. I've always liked gold highlighters on me. Um, okay, and I even have it up under my eyes because it's pretty hydrating, so. That's still a light coverage. I think I'm gonna get any more coverage out of this than I did. This is definitely light. It is not, it's it's not gonna be a medium coverage. But I, I'm okay with that because I knew being a skin tint that it was not going to go to full, I wasn't gonna be able to build it up to full coverage. Probably not even medium. But with concealer, this should be fine. Um, I'm not seeing any added sunscreen, but I, I don't rely on my foundation for sunscreen anyway, but I, I mean, I like the way it looks. It's just not giving a lot of coverage. Um, so that said, I'm going to be out at a baseball game today. So I think a lighter coverage, you know, over my sunscreen is probably better. Okay. Hmm. Let's build this up with concealer. I'm gonna use some, mm, do I wanna use that or do I wanna use? Uh, let me go ahead, I'm gonna use the True Skin um, from Catrice. I love this. This lasts a long time. If I get hot, it will, shouldn't move. The fact that I have a little bit more to cover here is is why it's it's really feeling like pretty light coverage. It might not be what I would want to do on a day-to-day -day basis for work, especially not on my skin. It's broken out the way it's been. I swear, my, just, my skin's going through a lot of changes right now. 
I am 41 years old, I have combination skin. I do prefer medium coverage. So this is, you know, a little, little less than what I normally might like. But all these skin tints out now is just, that's all you see coming out. So if I'm gonna try anything new, it's kind of where it is. It's kind of where we are. This is so thin. Th this foundation, it's still a little bit tacky right now. It's only been a couple minutes, but it's still pretty tacky. And it's, it's watery. It just soaks right in. Um, so what I'm hoping is that it settles down, then it's one of those foundations that kind of sinks into the skin and then you're left with the pigment. That's what I would really hope happens here. I'm getting a little bit more coverage with the, well, I mean, obviously with the concealer. So I feel like I'm getting just a little bit of clinginess here on my nose. Like the, the pigment is just not wanting to, almost like I put, too much on. You can only put so much before your skin rejects it and then it's sitting on top of my skin. It might just be so hydrating my skin can't handle it all. Yeah, I don't know. I think there's too much hydration going on. Let me just go with a little bit of concealer on my nose, cover a little bit more. But I'm not getting like polka dot pores. That I really hate. When I start to like Everything kind of soaks in, except the pigment just sits in your pores. I really, I really, nobody likes that, I'm sure. But this, I hate that. That's hard to smooth out. Okay, so I got more coverage here. It's looking pretty natural. It's, it's luminous for sure. I'm hoping that that settles down a little bit. I kind of like a natural finish. Better, but it's I think it's starting to settle down a little bit but I can feel that there's a lot of hydration here and I just moisturized my skin and put um, well that was a few hours ago but I just put sunscreen on not too long ago because um, I wanted to wait till closer to when I was gonna be outside and it's a hydrating one so I think maybe that might be a little bit too much okay I'm going to give this a few minutes to settle in let's see what it does I'm gonna put on the rest of my makeup and I'll be back in a few minutes and we'll see what it looks like with everything else on. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Uh, got the rest of my makeup on. It's been maybe eight to 10 minutes or so. It looks a lot better to me with powder products on. So I have on a little bit of setting powder. I have on powder, bronzer, blush, and highlight. Um, and so that's giving me a little bit of coverage here in areas where I have freckles, but um, you can probably see that it's settled down a little bit. Um, it is, it claims to blur the skin with light coverage. And I would say that is true. Um, it did need some extra coverage from, you know, concealer and the setting powder gave me a little bit. You know, I kind of wish I'd had this earlier in the summer. It's nice and light. Um, it has settled down. I still feel it, but um, it, it hasn't settled down quite like the Fenty Beauty does. Overall, for a skin tint, this is looking pretty good. I am going to go about the rest of my day. I'm going to be outside for a while in the heat. We'll see how this holds up, and then I will come back with a, like a check-in um, a little later because I'm kind of curious how this holds up through the day it is uh it's the middle of the day now so i'm a little late getting myself together uh but we're gonna see how this holds up i will be back to show you um, in more natural light i do have a light on right now mostly natural light but i i'll show you kind of what it looks like after a couple of hours and we'll see how this sets down with my um, somewhat oily skin and um i'll give you some final thoughts right now it's looking pretty good. All right, I will see you in just a bit. All right, so I am back. It's actually the next day. Um, I filmed originally the beginning of this video on Sunday. It is now Monday, um, but I am wearing the skin tint. I wore it for a 
full day today. Um, yesterday I was sitting outside after I put this on. It was silly to even try, but it was so hot. I was sweating. It just did not work well on my skin. So this is after about nine hours of wear. It is wearing off. Um, it's a skin tint. I have oily skin lately, well, combination skin, um, but in areas where my skin is more oily, it's coming off. Um, so it, it did not hold up, well, it held up pretty well considering it's a skin tint. Usually I don't get that much wear out of a skin tint. This one's not bad. It looked really good up until the last couple of hours. So I would say this lasted a solid, I don't know, six hours maybe, you know, maybe seven. Um, but it's not bad. You can just kind of see where it's wearing off. Um, I don't know. My blush and bronze are still there, kind of. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible uh, on my cheeks, but that's about it. The rest of it is just wearing off. Um, it's really hot today too, but I was inside all day. I wasn't sweating, so it did last a lot longer. Overall, I do like this skin tint. This is one of my favorite um, that I've tried so far. I'm gonna have to do probably a review of all the skin tints that I have tried so far this summer, um, at least over the last several months because there's a lot of them. This is one of my favorites. Um, I think it held up pretty well. So there you have it. That is my review of the Sephora Reveal The Real Skin Tint. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.